Does that just stop? Just cut from that, like the <laughs> goddamn daddy's up in there. Oh, oh, shit. Trying to give me a check so I could fly to Hawaii on my own private jet, better yet. Fly Millennium Falcon. I'm Pete and Joe here, bringing you guys a new series on our channel. Something a little new. We're going to bring you guys story time from Pete and Joe, or Joe and Pete. Basically, we're going to be talking about events or special things in our lives or shitty things in our lives that uh, stick out in our mind. And uh, today's uh, subject or today's area is going to be uh, childhood memories. Not even like fucking baby. Or we can do baby. You say childhood like we're fucking 20. <laughs> it's because like I'm talking like toddler to like 10. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, Joseph, you want to take the reins of the horse on this one here? Alright. So, uh, we're going to, in the spirit of a lovely Tuesday, we're going to talk about a bad story of mine. Um... So basically growing up, uh, I used to live in Seattle and I used to always take the subway to, um, I remember this, I remember, I remember this <laughs> I used to take the subway always to my school because when I got off, basically the subway was like the school bus for me because, uh, the city bus was full of fucking, uh, killers and murderers. So I didn't take that subway. At least there was more people and it was cheaper. So, uh, basically we took the, I took the subway. My parents didn't. And when I got off the subway, I'd be like a couple blocks away from my school. So, um, you know, my parents trusted it. So, at any rate, uh, I remember I was retarded. I think I was about four or five years of age. And uh, I used to always play this game where I used to jump in and out, in and out of the subway. And um, I remember, I think I, I like I tripped or something, but my arm was still inside the train. And the door shut on my arm. And I remember I couldn't move my arm because the door shut on it. And um, I'm guessing this was before all subways were automated. Or maybe it was just this subway that was au uh, not automated, but there was an actual driver and basically what happened was this train started to move like started to creep up a little bit but eventually this dude saw it and pulled like the emergency release or told the driver that uh, yo bro there's a kid stuck bro like uh, you can't be moving dude you're gonna kill this motherfucker bro <laughs> so basically the train stopped i got my arm unstuck uh i didn't die the train dude did say that if uh the dude didn't warn me basically i probably would have either lost my left arm or uh, drugged to death on the side of the train. Either way, it would have been shitty. So uh, I don't know who the dude was. I never got to thank the dude. He was kind of one of those like random heroic dudes that show up and just leave on like excited. So I think that man with my life. Love you, man. So I don't know if I should categorize it as a I'm bad story man. or a good story. I'm not even swimming. So uh, I'll make that a good story. I'll make no, no, no. Fuck that. This is a bad story because I still broke my arm and I still couldn't go to school for like two weeks. So that's a bad story. Alright, go. My turn! My turn! My turn! My turn! My turn! Okay. So, if Petey did a bad story, I guess I'll do a bad story too. Um, translation. So, this happened, I want to say around maybe when I was seven, seven or six. Seven, six, somewhere around that. Basically, what happened was, I think it was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving. I had my aunt and her three kids over. Well, my cousins, Mia, Kiana, and Marissa. If you're watching this, I'm a uh, shout out to you. Anyway, um, yeah, they were all at my house. And this was back when I lived in an actual house. I live in an apartment now. But um, this was back when we were in an actual house. But... I had bunk beds with no siblings. I, I still don't understand why I had a bunk bed, but you know, I had a bunk bed and my cousins, they were on top of my bunk bed, just, you know, like dicking around, you know, like fucking around. I don't, I don't know what they were doing, but I was downstairs. Well, I wasn't downstairs, but like I was below the bunk bed, like on the floor on a, on my computer, like playing some game. I was playing some game on the computer. And right above my head and right across from my bunk bed, there was, like, this shelf. And it had, like, a bunch of, like, a bunch of teddy bears. But there was, like, this one glass figurine teddy bear, like, out of all of them. Like, out of all the 
teddy bears. There's like this glass figurine teddy bear, heavy as fuck. Um, and my fucking my, my cousins thought it would be a good idea to like start digging around with the shelf because like apparently I think they were trying to grab some other teddy bear, and they like shift the shelf the glass teddy bear out of all the places it could have fell could have fell in my lap on the computer on the floor decides to fall right on top of my head and it basically like fucking ah, splits my head open like freaking cold. and i like i'm freaking like i it hits me and i'm just like oh like i, I fall and like i like at first i didn't know two thousand years later what's up guys we're back phone decided to die uh it was like at 40 percent and then it went to dead so uh we're uh back again to make your guys video what the hell look up through a fucking plane god, god damn god damn lawnmower over there and cutting that oh, grass i see it yeah it was a helicopter god damn lot flying lawnmower over there all right Okay, so we're back to the uh story. So basically I touch my head and all I see is fucking red and I freak out, like I freak out. I'm like, ah what the fuck? And my mom comes in like and once she hears me scream, she sees that I like my fucking head is like busted open. She's she she freaks out way worse, like ten times more than me. And she's like, Joseph, what's going on? Like, <laughs> she's freaking the fuck out. Fuck, fuck you, man. Well, I was a seven-year-old, so I clearly didn't fucking say that, but you know. But yeah, it kind of pissed me off. Um, to this day, I still beat the shit out of my cousin, so, you know, it's cool. Basically it. So, uh, my good story, my good story, my good story. Uh, I think I was about four, four and a half. Yeah, basically four and a half and I was riding a plane going from I think it was like somewhere to Texas, but I don't remember but I, all I remember was like I was like the crown jewel of the plane man I think I was like the only little kid on the plane. So this was back like Yeah, this is back when you could sit with the I don't know Maybe maybe this was not back because I because I was like a 99 baby. So Basically, what I'm trying to say was that uh, I got to sit with the pilots up front. They were basically like, yo, man, come on the front, bro. <laughs> it's pretty chill up here. Yeah, and um, I basically got to sit in the front with them and, like, um, I got to push some buttons and shit. Um, nothing crazy. I didn't blow up the plane and make us crash or anything. I was just pressing <laughs> Hello, Akbar. Uh, uh, the, windshield but, uh, the windshield wipers and shit. Like, I was just pressing, like, simple shit. I wasn't, like, messing with, like, the controls and shit. And then they let me go. Like, they let me go everywhere. Like, it was one of those airplanes with, like, the two stories. And so I got to go, like, upstairs. And they showed me around, like, one of the stewardess ladies. I got, like, an airplane. I got, like, free food and stuff. And, like, she, like, I don't know. I got to do all the cool stuff. And that was, like, the first time I ever rode a plane. And I always thought like, riding in planes was the coolest thing ever because after that, Never really had the same experience. I think the next time I rode a plane was like a year or two later. They were like, oh, you're too big to be in the front. You think, we might think you're a terrorist, so uh, sit in the back, you fag. I was like, oh, ah, thank you. Ah. And uh, yeah, I never really had a really good experience riding in airplanes. It's usually just layovers, uh, bullshit, uh, waiting lines, and uh, coach class. Never first class, because I'm a poor motherfucker. So uh, basically, yeah, that's... Uh, First time ever riding an airplane was like the best, man. This is my good story, though. Good story. So, um, uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm a badass child, you know, still am, was before, always will be, future, past, present. But, um, uh, this was back in kindergarten. Actually, first grade. It was first grade. Um, so, what happened was, I got in trouble. Couldn't, re couldn't really remember, like, the, like, specific thing that I got in trouble for but I got in trouble so often like I, I can't even fucking remember but I got in trouble and the bitch ass teacher decided to call my mom you know I'm a snake ass nigga called my mom said hey Joseph that that nigga's doing some bad shit and my mom like I said overreacts about everything was like oh his ass is mine so I'm um, uh I was all like fuck Gotta get my weed game on, you know. Gotta get my bob and weed, cause you know I'm uh she's gonna be swinging at me. So my dad picks me up from school. He doesn't know. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know the situation. So 
that was the first good sign that he didn't know. Because he wasn't going to go in there and be like, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, you going to beat Joseph's ass earlier? Um, uh, so, or, should I beat his ass or should, should you? Yeah. So I didn't really, like, that, that, was, that was a good sign, you know. So he was all like, hey, how was your day? And I was like, good, 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 good. Um, uh, nothing, nothing really bad happened. So walk in the door. Mom's already sitting on the couch. She looks at me, says, get in your room. Belt in hand. Let me, let me, let me keep that. Belt in her fucking hand. And I'm like, shit. So, you know, get in my room. I'm uh, take my pants off. Start layering on underwear, cause you know I'm like, if you black, you know, hey, your mama's, your mama try and beat you, you know, you you start laying on the underwear. Anyway, um, yeah, fuck me. Um, but um, uh, yeah, I started laying on my underwear. I wait about five minutes, cause she's usually in there about like a minute, you know, like she usually busts through the door, clah, 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 and just starts beating the shit out of me. But um, um, but it was about five minutes. She wasn't in there, so I'm like, hmm, what's going on? So, you know, like. I creep around the corner of my house, cause like at my old house we had like this hallway and then it was a living living room. But um, uh, I crept around the hallway to see if like um, see if like she was there or not. And she was on the phone and she she was really happy about something. So like, I guess she forgot all about beating me or something. So you know um, uh, I was pretty I was pretty hyped, you know. Um uh, and I pissed her off like the past day too. So it, it would have been some like, intense ass beating. You know, clah, 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 you know, straight, straight up beat the shit out of me. But I got lucky though. I got lucky. I got lucky. Uh, bonus round. I've already said two stories. More than a third one here because Joseph brought up something magical about mom's beatings. So I've decided to bring up my Korean mom. This lady. This lady. I think I was about 13. Uh, I was playing some freaking black ops in my um in the living room. It was a Saturday night. Just freaking grinding out zombies with some friends. It was like, Kino de Dalton, bro. <laughs> hey, that was the map, bro. Uh, shout out to anyone that knows what I'm talking about, because probably 95% of you are yeah, like, um, oh, what the hell did you talking about? Kino de Dalton? Yeah, hey. yeah, I was a broke boy. If you didn't know, I'm um, uh... <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'd be downloading the maps off friends and shit. <laughs> like, yeah, man. boy, I didn't have no deal. So uh, basically, I was playing with three of my friends at the time, and we were grinding this shit. I think we were like around 14, 15. It's about 9, about 9.05, 9.06 at night. Mom comes rushing in. Peter, 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 you gotta get off Xbox. It's time to go to bed. I'm like, the hell are you talking about, you crazy lady? <laughs> it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and she was basically like, oh god damn, <laughs> my bad. But basically, she was talking about that we had to go to church tomorrow or something. So I was like, okay, I'll go to sleep after I get to around like seven million because I'm that good. And she was like, no, 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 you're going to sleep now, you weirdo. And I was like, no, 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 yeah, 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 I'm not going to sleep. So uh, basically, we got in this big power struggle, and I'm over here still trying to play with my friends, and they're here, they're over here laughing and shit, like, oh yeah, this dude's mom's in his room making fun of him, <laughs> and um, you know we're playing, and we're playing, and my mom keeps bugging me, and it's like 9:30 now, and she's finally like, Peter, you're gonna have to get off, you're gonna have to get off. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm just playing. But, um, yeah, I would have done that shit. My mom would have. So basically, I saw my headset on. It's like I barely heard my mom. And she just kept bothering me and bothering me. And then I saw my hand out because I died some bullshit ass way or took, someone took something from me or something. But so I had my arm out, right? And then, like, and then it's because I was getting mad at the TV. And then, like, my mom was still bugging me. So I was like, well, I was about to say, like, mom, just give me like 10 more minutes. And then, but my arm was still out. And then I basically turned around while saying that and basically hit her across the face. And it was all unintentional. And I was like, oh, that face you have when you're like, oh, no. I done. Why the fuck did you touch me? This weirdo touched me. Oh yeah, I'll basically, definitely fucking um, kill you. Basically, though. like my mom's on the floor, and I had that feeling. I had that face. Of, oh shit, I done fucked up today. I was like Satan just spawned inside my mom, and I was like, oh shit. So basically, um, yeah, my mom just starts grabbing everything. Like if there was a nuclear bomb on the table, she probably would have thrown it and killed us because like she was basically like we had a candle there. It was like a glass candle. She basically threw that at my head. And I, I like dodged it, but I was like, God damn, they took my damn head off. And there was just shit flying everywhere, bro. It was everything from like, everything on the freaking coffee table, everything from like my freaking dinner to like everything. It was bad. Like, and so my mom was like, but my mom was like super chill. She basically was like, Pierre, go, and then she's like, Pierre, go in your room. And I was like, oh my God, she's pissed. And then I just hear this banging noise. I'm like, what the hell? So I peeked my window. She's over here banging my Xbox on the ground. My friend, I can slowly hear my friends. I'm like, Pierre, Pierre, 
where are you at, bro? We're losing, we're losing, man. Where are you at? And I was like, oh, my, my brother's, my brother's, my mom is destroying my Xbox. And so that Peter, you're grinding from your Xbox for two weeks. And I was like, wait, you just destroyed it. How am I gonna be grounded for something that you just destroyed? And like, <laughs> I can just envision your mom's. <laughs> <laughs> Just basically, long story short, um, don't piss your mom off, guys. When your mom tells you to go to bed, uh, go to bed. Yeah, that shit has changed now. Now I'm all fucking grown up. I remember my mom tried to beat... Last time I lived with my mom, she tried to beat me. I was like, <laughs> no, sir. And I just fucking... <laughs> nah, I'm playing. <laughs> but my mom did try and beat me, though, and I was like, no. Basically, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Basically, just uh, step into me and Joseph's childhood. You guys can take it as either shitty or, like, the best childhood on planet Earth. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no fucking... uh, so uh, I also want to do a quick reminder for our giveaway if you guys don't know what it is or haven't seen the video uh, Basically, it's gonna be in the link in the description But in case you're too lazy to watch it basically I'm doing a giveaway of a Starbucks card of 15 to 20 dollars If You guys want it all you guys gonna do is comment down on this video the last video saying uh, I subscribe to so give me the fucking uh, gift card and uh, That's basically all you gotta do and so yeah, make sure you guys check out that giveaway We're gonna be giving it away at the end of May possibly the beginning of June so, um, anything you guys got to, uh, get <laughs> get so, uh, that's going to be today's video. So, Joseph, you got anything else to say to our uh, lovely people? Um, all I got to say is maybe I'm going to have a good day, have a good night, have a good love. Come on, tell me how it feels when that brand new record spills. Homie, this the come up. I'm from where them drug dealers are running, but I was never about to.